Windy Mugahinga Conservation Trust, since inception in 1994, as a trust that was formed by the Global Environment Fund uh, in liaison with the government of Uganda. We've done a lot of work around Bwindi Mugahinga conservation area in the districts of Kanungu, Kisoro and Kabare to help people understand conservation and understand it in relation to their development. The project we implemented in Kanung district was the water school project funded by Swaronski and it mostly wanted to address the supply of safe water to communities and improve sanitation and then cause awareness in sustainable management and use of the facilities. We saw that the place we were working in had a stress of water first of all. And then the women and children were walking long distances to look for water. And the water that they were fetching was contaminated. The objective of this activity was education about sustainable use and the management of water resources. But besides that, uh, we had also to provide a potable safe water to communities and then sanitation and hygiene improvement facilities in schools and communities. There are a number of projects that BMCT has really implemented uh, in the area, but of recent they had the uh, the sustainable water use and the management for people and nature. It was a huge project under Swarovski uh, Water School. They were looking at water, uh, sanitation and hygiene around the protected area. And this involved schools and communities around the protected area, especially Buhindi, Penetrable National Park. The project of BMCT has taught us how to keep clean daily, how to become smart, even I've taught how to teach uh, by providing the solars. I've already started the computer skilling and other activities. The time the BMC had not yet here, we, we always take and boil water. We suffer from some diseases like cholera. And we, we have no money to take us that day to pay for us when we are at the hospital. They charge us a lot of money. So we no longer drink and build water. BMCT is a non-governmental organization which has helped this school in different ways. It has constructed the Petra Twins. Before that organization had arrived around this school, there were a lot of diseases which were disturbing this school. So due to the fact that they have brought the uh, twins, we no longer get those diseases which were making the peoples absent themselves. Even they have constructed the water boiler, now the peoples have learned how to boil water and they know how to use it very well.
BM City has done a lot of work in this school because it has taught us how to grow vegetables. Later we were eating the beans without vegetables. We will get some deficient diseases because of lacking the vi vitamins. We only worked in 20 schools. And then the, 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 the demand for the water school, when we started, it was very high. So we could not reach all the schools. That was the first challenge. Then the second challenge was that people could not move at the same level. So we had to go back and forth in awareness, in implementation. We used the drama, we used the workshops, and then we also used participatory planning so that everybody, we brought everybody on, uh, on board and then the ownership became easy. The Grovita Water Scheme, as far as this project is concerned, uh, was implemented in the Kayonza Sabu County, in the Kanungu district. Uh, that, uh, the, the part in which it was uh, implemented was uh, initially water stressed. They had no water. Uh, so, and um, it was really a necessity uh, to provide water to that community. Um, particularly, it is a 62 uh, tap stand scheme with a pipeline, a pipeline layout of 42 kilometers and uh, it is benefiting uh, over 20,000 beneficiaries. And among those, there are institutions, schools, hospitals, and then uh, a tea uh, processing factory, Kayonzo Growers Tea Factory. Kayonzo Growers Tea Factory is owned by uh, 6,140 shareholders, and these are to grow farmers. We employ 640 workers. BMCT helped us to get water with support from uh, Swarovski. And uh, initially, we used to draw water from a river, which was dirty, and uh, Besides, this water was not uh, really uh, full time. Most of the time it was not on, and uh, we used to pump it using generators, so it was very expensive. So when BMCT came in, we were able to get clean water, and now we have full time clean water, uh, which we use in manufacturing tea, and we also use it uh, in labor camps, it's used by workers. So we have managed to really improve our uh, health of life, our health. I should also mention that uh, uh, it reduced the production cost for that factory because they were paying highly to pump water to their factory as far because water is needed in, in the production process. So the scheme was a relief to the people of Kayonza and then the factory and the whole community at large. BMCT 
BMCT etwejesize okuhinga emboga yatwereza amizi kandi yatwejesa no kuturabasa kubike sente tukabasa kuziguzana kugira ngo ubujyomwe basekwe bisaho mu makageye <tipos> <tipos> 